It may be cold outside, but that's not the only reason why people are wearing hats today. Today is Tuke Tuesday, a national campaign to raise money for the homeless. Raising the Roof has come to Nathan Phillips Square as well as other areas of the Greater Toronto Area to sell hats and socks, raising money for those in need. Raising the Roof is an organization that prevents homelessness by finding vacant homes and flips them into affordable housing for struggling families. Toronto Mayor John Tory was asked about funding and talked about one of Toronto's biggest expenses. Is it still, has the cost increased? you know what the East Garden is going to cost? I have not had any increase, any... I've not had any update on an increased cost of the gardener because we just haven't had a recent report that would be an update for that number. But I will say this, um, you know, people are going to drive trucks and cars in the city. We hope that fewer of them will do so uh, because of the many billions of dollars, way more than the one billion uh, dollars, the many billions of dollars that we are investing in public transit. And that's as it should be. We are trying to move ourselves away from as much reliance on cars and trucks. But let's be real. Let's be real. There are going to be people driving cars and trucks and commerce that has to be done around the city. And so we're making some investment in road transportation as well. But it's far outstripped by the uh, by the investment we collectively as governments are making in public transit, for example. And we will continue on that path. But uh, at the moment, the cost uh, estimates for the gardener are, are as they were because they have not been. And you Raising the roof set up posters and a castle with messages drawing awareness to people passing by. Mark Sobrano, the executive of Raising the Roof, talks about how they prevent homelessness. Um, our approach is to turn vacant homes across Canada into affordable housing and to use those renovations not only as a way to, to build more housing but to train people who are experiencing homelessness or at risk of homelessness to, to learn construction and then to, to not need housing in the first place. So um, that, that's the problem that we're fundraising for. We're trying to build houses across Canada. Hopefully. Uh, we'll have hundreds and hundreds of them and we'll really make a dent in this issue uh, because every okay. house that we work on also employs you know, 20, 50 people over the course of the project and 85% of them are going into apprenticeships. All the proceeds raised from donators goes towards making homes available for those living on the streets. Apprentice Brandon Walker shares why prevention is important to him. I like it because I've been there before. I've, been, I've lived on the street for like two and a half months, couch surf lived in a car, lived in sheds, so this, this initiative is very important to me. The organization said their goal is to sell at least 500 hats today while accepting additional donations. For Humber News, I'm Madison Ray.